In 2023, the Food and Drug Administration reported that more than a million high schoolers and 550,000 middle school students were using e-cigarettes. The issue of teen vaping has become more prominent in recent years, with Congress cracking down on major companies like Juul, alleging the products are actually appealing to kids. But closer to home, one school district is taking matters into its own hands. Yeah, we told you about Samba, the vape detecting dog, who is now working in Lake County middle and high schools. As News 6's Emily McLeod reports, Samba has sniffed out several vapes, including nicotine and THC. Samba, check. Hey. Erica Stamborski is the school resource canine handler with the Lake County Sheriff's Office. Samba, sit. She and Samba have been working together since March, checking students' backpacks for vapes in Lake County Middle and high schools. It's really a problem, and um, I'm just glad we're getting it out. Samba. We first told you about Samba last year when Lake County Schools purchased her for $60,000. Since then, Stamborski tells us Samba has found more than 40 nicotine vapes and five THC vapes. But Samba's efforts are leading to other items being found in addition to the vapes. They'll also have like um, marijuana or um, in one, one circumstance, a student had alcohol in his backpack and that, that I was just shocked when that's, they started pulling it out of the backpack. What was it like working with Samba, bringing her into the schools? Our very first school, school walk, we uh, walked a locker room where the students had left their backpacks um, and Samba, I put her down on the floor, you know, gave her her command and within seconds she was over on a backpack and sat down and alerted on it. As they're searching the student's backpack, they found a THC vape and a nicotine vape. How many times before Samba came in here, even since Samba's been here, how many times are you dealing with vape-related issues on campus. We would sometimes hear about it on a daily basis, and that has greatly decreased since Samba and Erica have been around. He's a good Samba. Tavares Middle School Principal Abby Crosby says they want to educate students while keeping them safe. We want to make sure that they're safe. We want to make sure that they are making good choices and creating healthy habits, um, because especially at the middle school age, they are just finding themselves. Kristen Lamoureux is a potential specialist at Tavares Middle School, but she also has two children who attend school in the Lake County School District. So as a teacher, very thankful that it's on campus, taken care of off of the teacher's responsibility. And then as a parent, I'm just, I feel that extra sense of relief that there's backup from, I mean, it's hard to do it alone as a parent too. So it's great that the schools are there. In Lake County, Emily McLeod getting results news six. I mean, they are incredible and, you know, they're not biased. They're just, they know what they've been trained to find and they're going to find it. Well, the reason it happens so much is because kids don't think anybody's ever going to catch them. If you have a dog there that yeah. sniffs that out in particular, could That's solve it. a pretty big issue. Dogs do every, I remember coming back from out of the country once and I had a ham sandwich in my pocket. They came to me on the plane and this little beagle sat right next to my backpack yeah. at the airport and the cops came right over. But it over. was a THC <laughs> ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they I'm gave it to kidding. me on the plane. <laughs> I thought I could take it to the airport. Let the dog uh, 